I used to wake up groggy, tired, foggy all the time. I'd wake up and I'd feel tired all day. And I knew it was because I didn't get enough sleep. I went to bed at two in the morning because I was scrolling on TikTok, on Instagram, until I fell, a I fell asleep in bed and I didn't even remember when I fell asleep. And then I'd try something different. I tried to go to bed earlier and then I'd wake up, but I'd overslept. And if, even though I slept way more hours than usual, I felt almost more tired than usual. I felt more sleepy. I felt more tired throughout the whole day. So what was I doing wrong? Not enough hours of sleep. I still feel tired. Too many hours of sleep. I still felt tired. In a week's time, I managed to... Well, actually, not even that. Literally, after this video, tomorrow morning, I guarantee you, you will be able to wake up and feel en energized in the morning and not feel tired. That's only if you watch to the end of the video and you do everything that is said in the video, though. So stick to the end. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. First of all, how are you? I hope things have been good. I'm going to go through seven things, and the last one is probably the most beneficial and the most important, and also the easiest. So the first one, fix your sleep schedule. You see, the, the amount of hours that you need for sleep is roughly seven hours. Seven hours is all you need. That is the average for most people. Seven hours. So the latest that I would I go to bed by is 10 p.m. So I go to bed at 10 p.m. and I wake up at 6 a.m. Sometimes I go to bed at 9, uh, 9 p.m. and I wake up at 6. So that is 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's eight hours. I'm sleeping, I'm in bed for around eight to nine hours. However, I've got a pretty high sleep efficiency. I have around 80% sleep efficiency. So the time that I'm in bed, I'm actually asleep because obviously we don't go to sleep like that and we don't wake up like that and we don't sleep like a log throughout the whole night, sometimes we wake up. So even though I'm in bed for about eight to nine hours, I'm getting a roughly seven hours sleep. So I've got a pretty good sleep efficiency. First of all, fix that. You only need around seven hours of sleep. If you oversleep, you end up getting problems such as brain fog. You end up being more likely to get sick. So you're more likely to get unwell. You have low energy and you feel tired all day. This is what happens when you oversleep. Second one, do not eat past 8 p.m. Now, I think everyone knows this, like people, you see it on like, what was it, Instagram, a bunch of social media is like, don't eat past 8 p.m. Then why do fridges have a light when you turn, when you open them? Like, <laughs> like it, it, a lot, a lot, everyone, I think everyone, a lot of people know that you shouldn't eat past 8 p.m. or when you're about to go to bed, but not many people know why. And here's why. Your body only has a finite amount of energy. Now, if your body then spends that energy digesting instead of recovering when you're asleep, your body is going to be way, way less likely to go to sleep quickly. So when you don't eat after 8 p.m. and your body focuses on recovery rather than digestion, you end up going to sleep way quicker. You end up actually losing a bit more weight. Your body can focus on recovery so you can lose a bit more weight. And also you end up having better health because your body is focusing on recovery. What it's supposed to do when you're sleeping. The next one is empty your bowels. This is what I've been actually only doing recently. I only found out recently. Yeah, I've been on self-improvement for two years, but that's still, I'm still new to all of this. So this is something that we can both try together. It is empty your bowels. I've tried it for the past week, right before I go to bed. I basically just go downstairs to the bathroom and I go to take a piss. If, even if I don't feel like I need to, I probably will end up going to the bathroom anyway, because I'm there. But trying to force myself to empty my bowels before I sleep, you end up sleeping 100 times way more comfier. You haven't got the sort of thought on your mind, oh wait, do I need to go to the bathroom? Oh, but I'm in bed, I'm super comfy, I don't want to get up. You end up sleeping way more comfier. You end up having a lot more energy as well because you don't waste your time worrying if you need to go to the bathroom or not. And it can also fix headaches because if you do end up holding it and you need to go to the bathroom and then that's why when you wake up in the morning you desperately run to the bathroom or in the middle of the night, you end up not having headaches because you went before you went to sleep. The next one is exercise. Now, this specifically targets brain fogginess. So when you wake up and your eyes are hard to open, you've got that groggy feeling in the morning, this specifically targets getting rid of that feeling, brain fog. 
Now what I do, and what I've been doing with a couple of my friends as well, to get rid of this, the moment I get, I wake up, right, I get down and I do 20 push-ups and I do 20 sit-ups. It's not a lot. However, that little exercise will warm up, will warm up your muscles enough to actually clear that brain fog and that grogginess that you feel in the morning. We do more now, but you can just start with 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups. Uh, we now aim to do 100 a day. Uh, obviously, you don't have to do that in the morning. We always do 25 in the morning, but we'll end up doing like it more throughout the rest of the day. It's quite fun because, uh, what was it? He'll be like, all right, 25 push-ups right now. I'll be like, hell yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> the next one is plan your night before. Oh, wait, no, that came out wrong. Plan your morning the night before. Now, the reason I say this is because you waste a lot of time thinking in the morning about what it is you're going to do for that day, and you lose a lot of energy thinking about like, oh, should I do this? Oh, maybe I should do this. Oh, should I do this instead, actually, today? You end up getting something known as decision fatigue. Now, if you plan all of this the night before, you can wake up and just sort of get straight into it. You already know what it is. Maybe you wrote it down and you can see, which is what I do. I have a page like on the back bit of my book, which has my morning routine and I follow that morning routine every day. Now, the reason this is good is because there have been times where you have been up, nearly pulled an all-nighter, you've gone to bed at two, you've been on video games or just doom scrolling, but then you have college the next day. However, despite going to bed at like two, three in the morning, you still get up on time for school and you're only like five minutes late. Why is this? Because you know you have something to do in the morning. However, if you went to bed at 3 a.m. and then that was on the weekend afterwards, so you wake up and it's the weekend, you're like, ah, oh, I'll stay in bed because it's the weekend. I have no reason to get up. So I'll go back to bed. So when you actually plan your day and you have something to do in the morning, you're way more likely to wake up. The next one is reading. I read. I read a lot now and uh, I recently got into something. It's an app. Oh shit, what's it called? It's an, I think it begins with a D, das, das something. I don't know. I'll, I'll put a link on it or like I'll put a photo or link or where it is. But basically this app cost me 15 pounds a month and it basically has all the books, the podcasts summarized in writing form that I can read. So like Andrew Huberman, Atomic Habits, Way of the Superior Man, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It has all the book, these books that maybe you've been wanting to get into that would teach you about your mind, business, the psychology behind business. It would teach you all this kind of stuff and it's all packed on one app. Instead of like doom scrolling, I scroll on this and I read before I go to bed. If you do it on your phone or you read on a Kindle, just make sure that it's on night mode so you don't have blue light in your eyes or you can just read a book. Reading before I go to bed, it makes me tired. It makes me really, really tired and I eventually sleep better. I don't have this sort of grogginess in the morning. It's also just a nice habit to get into because you end up fueling your brain with information and that is a good. And the last one, by far probably the most important one that makes the biggest difference and that is water. Drink water first thing when you wake up. Honestly, if I, if I wake up and I don't drink water first thing, I will go back to bed and I will have a shitty morning. On days compared where I do wake up and I do drink water first thing, I end up actually getting up and getting rid of this grogginess feeling and actually doing something productive. You know, there's something that I do as well, which is I have my bottle of water right next to my phone when I wake up and I turn off, I walk, walk to my phone, turn off the alarm, drink some water, but then I also dip my fingers into the water and I kind of just rub my eyes so I can get rid of like sleepies because my eyes for me personally, everyone's different, but for me, I have a huge struggle, try and struggle, struggle trying to open my eyes when I've just woken up. So I just rub it with water and then it gets rid of all the stickiness. And then I'm actually able to like open my eyes. Another little tip, turn on lights. T just make sure your room is bright or like you're in a bright sort of environment. It basically kicks your brain that like, oh, it's sunrise, it's morning, it's time to get up. That was a very, very impactful information depth video. So I hope I hope this video helps you out. Save it and write things down if you need to, because there is a lot of information in there. I hope this video helped you out and I hope things have been good. And another video is gonna pop up in the corner and I would be really appreciative if you clicked on this because it could help you out. And if you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance you will never ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Seven Broom Kiss. Mwah.